as you can see, it is blue. Yes, today is a good day. Today, I'm going big. I'm getting my first ever gravel bike. It's waiting for the shop to ring me to tell me it has been built because it gets delivered to the shops. I've been, I've been riding with my mate um, about 30, 20 to 30 miles every, um, every Sunday or every weekend to get him fit. Me get a bit of cardio in because I do a bit, a bit of running and he noticed of my used hybrid bike yeah, I was pedalling two to three times more than he was but he was still pulling away from me and if he put his foot down like I did and he was, he was behind me he'd catch me up like that so he said if you had a good bike James you'd smash it you'd be like a mile ahead of me so get yourself a gravel bike it's like a racer a racing bike, road bike, but you can get wider tyres so it's good for, for tow paths, for gravel hence the gravel bike name um, and it's really good but I said what about brakes? Well get yourself hydraulic disc brakes because rim ones are okay but there's nothing like hydraulic because basically your car's got hydraulic So anyway, I found this bike I'm going to go and get it in a bit um, I will show it you when I get it back here. I have these pedals here Which are double-sided that and your foot your, your foot basically clips in there and goes like that And you can take them out by going like that apparently If you can get ones that have got this on this foot on one side and they've got rivets on the front So I'll see how I feel I might get I might get some better pedals down the, down the road the shop that, I, that I'm getting the bike from said Pedals from about 50 quid onwards. I got these for 35 quid off Amazon and they feel sturdy as anything. So I'm happy with that. So I've got those. Gyro. And if you want to know what Gyro is, Google it. Gyro is basically um, a helmet manufacturer for bicycles, but they also do trainers and shoes and stuff like that for bicycles, basically. Because they, 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 they basically do bicycles. The place I'm buying the bike from, they're about, these shoes are about 80, 90 quid, give or take. So I googled them. Amazon. These, um, these are with 45 quid on discount. This, but I thought they, they did say they had they were lace up, but they're not lace up. The Velcro. We tack that bit there. Is the bit of the cleat that basically hooks into the pedal, and you can, you know, go like that. Um, I wanted it like that, so it was there underneath and you could still walk and feel normal. The, the little, that little cleat there is like here. I don't want to walk like I'm walking on my heels like, like that. So I decided to buy these, but well, they're not completely waterproof, but when you're going cycling, does it, does it really matter? You're gonna get wet either way. So it's like that, I bought those. And it's gonna be an epic, I reckon it's gonna be epic. Can't wait. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you when I get back. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, because the like, if you keep pressing the like button, it helps the algorithm, it tells you like the video, and it helps my channel. Um, and I'll talk to you all soon when I get back. Bye bye. So it's the next day, because um, my bike had a few issues, because basically when you order a bike to a shop, the uh, the brakes, this European bike, the brakes um, are on the opposite side, so the front brakes on the left. You would switch them over for, for the UK and Australia because, and wherever, because uh, that's how we know about them. Um, but also the main, they had to do that. And then I, I decided that I would go tubeless, which basically means no inner tube. And the front part of the wheel went on straight away, it's perfect. The back wheel took about three or four times to get it right, so I thought it wouldn't, it just wouldn't seal. Um, just keep it overnight, see if it, see if it stays sealed overnight, and, uh, and I'll collect it tomorrow. So today is tomorrow. I've, uh, I got it back home, switched a few things from my old bike onto this bike. But uh, in general, it's a MIM bike, and uh, it is called the Merida Silex. 400 and here it is
as you can see it is blue now i wanted to get a blue because a lot of bikes i saw were either way too expensive they're around two grand or more or they're black and white or gray or like an army green or some crap and i wanted a blue because well i thought i wanted more i wanted an orange or some or red or something they were like a grand and two grand maybe but this one it should be 1600 quid this one but there was an offer for for 1200 quid for this so i snapped it up i just snapped it up, i thought 1200 quid for a 600 quid bike that was amazing um i mean you just get a bit you have to get a bit used to uh the pressure on your hands there to be fair you have your hands on there after a while just have a break and put your hands there like up hills on straight so it's mint now because you press that way press the whole lever that way and that goes that makes the gears go slacker so you can go up hills and if you just press this lever here which is here that makes it go like a I don't know, it's a lower gear, whichever way I don't know from how it is, it makes it so like when you go down a hill, you can get the momentum, so it's like a harder gear, and you push the whole lever for a slacker gear for up hills. So uphill, downhill, think of it that way. See, I've got the, uh, my quad lock um, phone mount, so rather than having a Garmin computer, I'm just going to use my Strava. I may down the line get a Garmin. The frame is aluminium. The forks apparently are carbon. And I don't know what the F mount means. If anybody can let me know in the comments down below what F mount even is, I have no clue. Um, it does have multiple anchor points. You've got anchor point there for any panniers or anything you want. And so on the other side, has an anchor point there, there, and obviously where the bottle is currently. This bike doesn't, like most bikes nowadays, and most bikes nowadays don't come with pedals. So like I said, I put, I've had these put on. It is a bit interesting riding with these, because I've actually stopped at a few lights, and then I've, I've been like, oh shit, I'm not, I'm, I've got cleats on, that I'm attached to the, I'm attached to the actual pedals, and I'm like, oh shit, oh, oh. So I'm having to get, try and get my foot out. I'm like, I'm like, it's all over the bike. I'm trying to get my foot out of the bike, out of the pedal. Eventually I do do, do do. Um, so obviously, like I said, I've got these, um, these gyro uh, shoes I've been using. They are interesting. I might, have to, I might have to change them because I need something that actually grabs my foot to do it. Whereas like, they don't really grab my foot so much. So I'll see how they go for another, another, another ride. Good. But anyway, back to the bike. It has, it's a two, it's a two on the pedal, 10 on the back. So that's 20 all together, which I'm fine with. I did have a look at, uh, tried the one where you've just got one on the front and like <coughs> like 12 or something, or 40 on the back. But I, to me, it didn't have enough range of gears for what I want, the amount of riding I'm doing. One good thing is, is it does have a clutch. Um, that's so basically what a clutch basically means is that um, when you're going over, over bouncy terrain, like towpaths, the chain will stay on the, uh, the cogs and will not bounce it'll stay, so you'll get a more fluid, fast ride, basically. What can I say? I've had it, just been out of it for a six and a half mile ride, so about half an hour, because I went on the roads. It is tubeless, as I said. I've just had, I've had it made tubeless. They've got um, hydraulic disc brakes. Now you may say, why do you get hydraulic disc brakes? Because the hydraulic disc brakes are effectively, the car has hydraulic, hydraulic brakes on it. And so even though the front ones don't feel as good as the back ones, for to be fair, but in general, the, um, basically hydraulic disc brakes, apart from electric disc brakes, um, so the most expensive bikes, you've got rim brakes, which effectively go, pads effectively go on the rim there. And you have mechanical disc brakes, which are the same type of caliper as that, as that there. But instead of it being hydraulic fluid going into it, it's just basically the cable like you would have. Yeah, your, um, your rim brakes, it's all done by a cable. And obviously, but then, and then for an extra 300 quid, which is for your safety, you can get hydraulic disc brakes, which, got, which is why I got hydraulic disc brakes. Because I figured why not, you know. I'm going to have this bike for a good 10 years or more. 
So I might as well, I might as well go for it and get some decent base for once in my life. Obviously, I'm gonna have to get used to those uh, those cleats. They're the um, pedals. Generally, it's a really good bike, um, and because all the cables are inside the actual uh, are inside the actual frame, as you can see, they're all going into the frame, like into there for the for the discs, and yeah, it's basically internal cables are inside the actual um, the frame. It looks looks cleaner, and it's a better system, basically. I'll say it's probably the best bike I could have got for my money. Um, it's, they're selling it off cheap because the 2024 one's coming out. So, so basically, note to self: never buy a brand new bike of the year. Buy the bike at the end of the year, around September, October, when the new bikes are coming out for the following year. And I'm a, I'm a size medium, which is a 54 centimeters or 20 odd inch. Every bike has, brand has different sizes. Some are medium, some are large, extra large, small, whatever. I'm a medium on one frame, which I tried. And on these, this, I'm a large, which is 53 centimeters, about 54 centimeters, which is medium on another bike that I tried in the store. So just watch out for that. Um, I'd go, in, go into a store um, or a shop, depending where you, where you live. I'm in the UK. Um, try bikes, see how the frame feels on you. If it's too big or too small, try, like, try and get an ask them what size is frame, please. And if you don't want, if you don't want that bike, walk out, find the bike you want, or see if they can get you the bike that you want, and you're sorted. Um, so basically, yeah, um, that's my bike. Um, I like it. I uh, hope you like this the, this review. Um, it is, very, it does seem good. It's like I say, it's only my first ride. Um, it's better once I've broke it in a bit and I've got used to it and they got used to the new shoes but it has a good variation of um, of of, uh, of gears to get me up hills and down hills I'm happy with it so uh, like I said thanks for watching if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe please press that like button it helps the algorithm so you're saying you like the, this it pushes on to other people who are interested in this kind of bikes and outdoor sports and stuff so please like the button like the button subscribe comment what you think of the bike down below um, thanks again for watching and bye bye.